Yeah, hello. Uh, now we are here inside the Moby Dick text, and uh, Moby Dick text, and uh, we have here Ulrike. Ulrike, would you please uh, uh, present yourself just in a, in a few words? Sure. Um, my name is Ulrike. Um, I'm one of the Berliners uh, of UK Lib Berlin. Um, um, that's basically my my place where I go in my spare time and engage with open data. So. Um, my topics are the digital society, civic engagement, and um, uh, what we can do with open data. Yeah, that's a good uh, keyword, digital society. And uh, I uh, love having uh, also voices from young people, which you are, it's obvious. And uh, my question is, uh, what is your vision of a good and resilient society? How would you wish to have one? Okay, a good and resilient society. That's, that's actually a good question and a more, quite broad question. But okay, so here, first of all, um, a good society should be able um, to have um, a free space to develop, but also be able uh, to defend itself if it's getting attacked. I think that's a topic that may sound a bit like... Um, over dramatic, but uh, I think in, in nowadays times it has become more and more important again. Um, in German we say Wehrhafte Demokratie, and that's the way I'm talking to. Um, a good, uh, free and resilient uh, society should also never give up hope. Never give up hope, that's very good. And what do you think what, what young people need and want to have to, to, to build their future in a digital future? Okay, uh, uh, so what, what do you want to hope <laughs> from all of us who are not... It starts with hope, but then of course it's opportunities, right? Yeah. Um, um, we as a society should provide enough uh, opportunities for everyone, young, middle-aged, old people, uh, to be part of the society and to to be able to develop and I think uh, nowadays that's even more important because I think um, um, many young people, I guess, would agree that nowadays you don't, don't just start in a life and that's going to be your life. It will change and change and change um, um, every while again. And so I think as a society we should provide these opportunities to develop yourself uh, regardless of the age. So uh, if we say we want to shape a good digital society, uh, isn't that young people who have to do it because many older people maybe don't know what they decide on. I think young people have the most energy, right? Uh, and so <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think with that comes a lot of uh, a lot of what we are currently seeing with, for example, Fridays for Future, uh, mm. that young people start to see. Uh, um, what their life is going to be like in 50 years and if they are agreeing with that proposition or if they want to have another life and uh, so I think yes of course young people should be able to be part of a society to, to actually uh, make claims of a society and also propose uh, uh, policies, propose changes uh, and that's totally important but then again I also think and my experience from my very personal life um, to work together intergenerational is also a key power of our society or should be a key power because we all can learn so much the young can learn from the old the old can learn from the young and yeah. uh, I, that makes me all the time exciting whenever I have that opportunity okay that's so great so uh, we, we hope on the young people but we all have to help them yes okay. yes we work together for a good society. You should support each other. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. <laughs>